Welcome to another Moog demo library. Today we're going to look at the sample and hold section of Mavis. A sample and hold circuit has two inputs. A signal input on Mavis labeled S plus H and normal to Mavis's VCO, and a gate input on Mavis labeled S plus H gate and normal to Mavis's LFO. The sample and hold output is just below. When the gate in sample and hold gate input goes high, in this case when the LFO goes high, the sample and hold circuit looks at the signal at the sample and hold input. The sample and hold circuit grabs the precise voltage at the input at the moment the gate goes high and holds that voltage at the sample and hold output. When the sample and hold gate input goes high once again, it samples a new input from the signal input and holds that new voltage at the output. Sample and hold is a bit of a tricky concept to understand at first, but the upshot is that we can use it to create random voltages. If we take the sample and hold output and plug it into the volt per octave input of Mavis, when we hold a key, we will hear a procession of random notes. When the sample and hold input, in this case the VCO, is set to saw, the saw wave is moving linearly from positive 5 volts to negative 5 volts. So the sample and hold circuit can sample any voltage in between positive and negative 5 volts. When we move the VCO to square, the square wave jumps from positive 5 volts to negative 5 volts. And so the sample and hold can only sample one of those two voltages. We can listen to that in action by holding a key and moving the VCO from saw to square. Because the Mavis VCO moves from positive 5 volts to negative 5 volts, that means we have a 10 volt range that the sample and hold circuit is sampling from. When patched to the volt per octave input of the VCO, that means we're generating a 10 octave range of random notes. That might be a bit too wide of a range for most musical purposes, and so we can use the Mavis attenuator to dial that range in a bit. We'll patch the sample and hold output to the attenuator input and the attenuator output to the volt per octave input. With the attenuator all the way up, when we press a button, we'll hear what we had before. And we can dial it back with the attenuator. Using Mavis's Molt, we can take the sample and hold and send it to two destinations at once. We'll remove this patch cable and patch the attenuator output to the Molt input. We'll patch the Molt output 1 back to the volt per octave input. And we can patch the Molt output 2 somewhere else, say the filter cutoff. Now we have the sample and hold controlling both the pitch of the oscillator and the cutoff of the filter. And we can change the procession of random voltages with the LFO rate. A sample and hold circuit is included in Mavis and normalized in such a way as to give you access to random voltages to spice up any of your Mavis patches.